Over on TikTok, user Shumaya74 asks, Hi, I want to replace my bathtub, but don't know which is better, acrylic or steel. So, any suggestion, please? <laughs> That's a great question. I'm glad you asked, and we're going to get into it right now. Welcome back, Remodelites. I'm Dave with Remodel Media, and since 2005, I've been helping people put together kitchens, baths, outdoor kitchens, and various other home renovation projects. I'm on a mission to eliminate remodel regret, and I do that by bringing you the latest tips, tricks, and products for your home remodel, so if you're new here, follow along. We'll have some fun. For the sake of this video, we will compare acrylic to porcelain enameled steel. However, I want to make sure that we are being very careful not to confuse porcelain enameled steel to porcelain enameled cast iron. They may look the same on the surface, but they are not. Uh, for full details, watch this video over on YouTube. If you have an acrylic tub, that tub was bent and formed out of a solid sheet of acrylic, and it was insulated with fiberglass on the back side. It's very thick, it's very durable, pretty heavy, definitely a two-person lift. However, pressed steel or porcelain enameled steel is a layer of porcelain on top of steel, which is thinner than cast iron and as such tends to chip much more quickly. You'll also see this reflected in the price. Pressed steel would most likely be half the price as compared to acrylic. So if you're asking my personal opinion, uh, I'm going to say acrylic for longevity. However, if your goal is to, let's say, flip a house and you're trying to do it on the cheap, then you might end up choosing pressed steel because a lot of people do prefer that porcelain touch and feel. And you don't care if it lasts more than a year. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some good information out of that episode. Go ahead and click here for more videos. Go ahead and click here to subscribe. And make sure you check out the description below for relevant links to some of the products that we discussed today. And leave your comments and questions down below because I love answering them. As always, I'll see you in the next one.